It's kind of like a cool sword. <laughs> but it's not a sword. Oh, it could be a sword. Uh, <laughs> so guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write and how to play better guitar solos using your whammy bar. And I want to give you kind of an example of some of the things I'm going to teach you by listening to this short clip. about this video that I'm sharing with you guys. First of all, I'm going to show you again how to play cool guitar solos and basically spice up your solos by using the whammy bar, but not really by doing anything crazy. And okay, I'm not against all the crazy whammy bar techniques. Like you look on YouTube, you see a gazillion of whammy bar techniques and they're all these crazy outlandish, like make it sound, you know, like really big or whatever. That's probably a really bad sound effect. But I'm going to show you how really to subtly use it and how to kind of bring it out at that right moment and then pull it back so that it captivates the listener. Okay, so that's what this lesson's about. Now the second cool thing is I am playing my Ibanez RG1570 guitar. Uh, I know you guys saw this guitar on a couple of videos back when I had it. I had it set up and restrung and all that by a professional and um, what happened was I had really screwed it up when I changed the strings last time. It's like a newbie mistake that some dude has been playing guitar since 1990 made. Anyway, so let's get into the lesson. I'm going to bring it in. I'm just going to share some really cool techniques and how you can use your whammy bar really subtly and then bring it in at those right moments and it's really just going to spice up your guitar solo. So here we go. Oh guys, and hang around to the end of the video because I've got another really cool music clip that I want to share with you. It's really just going to be for your listening enjoyment, but make sure you stay around for that. All right guys, so the first whammy bar trick, actually I don't want to call these tricks. They're not really tricks. It's just cool stuff you can do using your whammy bar. So this is a very subtle technique. I don't really have a name for it. I'm just going to play like a single note and I'm going to bend that note with the bend, I'm going to use my whammy bar to kind of accentuate that bend. After I do the bend, I'll bend it up and just kind of put a little bit more feeling into it. You might want to bend it like two times, like you know, you heard how I bent it once and I'll play it again. Then I bent it quickly again. Then I came in with the whammy bar and what I'm doing, I'm just going to do this on an open string. I'm kind of with the whammy bar going down a little bit and then bringing it back up. Then I give it just a little vibrato. So let's just see what that sounds like on just an open string. <laughs> that just on that open string and then maybe practice it by just fretting one of the frets that sounded weird for the sake of simplicity let's just say we're gonna do that on the 12th fret here So now you've practiced that a couple times and you can do that just on various places throughout the fretboard or wherever you want to do it. And then I want you to take a note and I'm going to show you kind of what the easiest note to start with, bending that note. And now we're going to practice bending that and throwing that whammy bar in. Uh, so I'm on the B string, the string, or I'm sorry, the fret that I'm going to bend here is going to be on the 15th fret. So this one right here. All 
right, so now I want to give you another whammy bar technique that you can use, and this was kind of another subtle technique. I'm going to just do like a hammer on. So let's go on the B string, and I'm going to do like a constant hammer on between the seventh and eighth frets. <laughs> So that's a technique that I'll throw in every now and then, and I honestly don't use that a whole lot. I know some other guitar players out there uh, use it. I know Eddie Van Halen, he was like really famous for that and really good at it. Of course, a lot better than I am uh, trying to do that. But that's just another technique you can use. And if you if you want to expand on that, you know, you can hit more notes. It doesn't have to just be those two. You can add, you know, that that next note here, so we're at seven, eight, and ten. Now you can see on that last part, I just kept going down and down and down with the whammy bar. Uh, that gives you a little bit more cool effect. It's almost like you're walking that little lick down further, getting those lower notes, but you're using the whammy bar instead. Now I've got a really cool trick, or technique rather, using the whammy bar I want to show you. And this is going to be using harmonics. So we're going to take the strings G and B, and we're going to kind of hover our fingers over the fifth fret there. And that's going to give us this harmonic sound. So that's a very simple harmonic to hit there off the G and the B string. Now we're going to take our whammy bar and we're going to do a couple subtle movements with that and I'm going to show you what that sounds like. So here we go. Guys, there's one more whammy bar technique I want to share with you. I want to show you how to play this. Now, this is one of those techniques that you're almost not gonna hear it. You're almost like gonna be like, okay, I'm not really sure what that was, but it sounded cool. We're gonna give it just enough whammy for it to just kind of send that solo over the edge. Now, this particular technique, it's almost like you know, chicks or dudes putting on makeup. The secret is, is to look like you're not wearing makeup, right? So the secret to this technique, um, and girls, if I'm wrong on that, please correct me. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Anyway, so this technique is to kind of throw it in there real, real subtly to where you're not really sure what that is, but you as a guitar player know that, okay, I know I just used the whammy bar a little bit just to give it that edge. <laughs> So I'm going to get a little personal here. That is my favorite all-time whammy bar technique to use in my guitar solos. Now, it looks simple, and in nature, it is a very simple guitar technique, you know, with the whammy bar. But because it's so subtle and simple, it's actually one of the more difficult techniques to pull off and have it sound just right. Because you, you're you going to hear a mess up. You're going to hear a screw up if, if you mess that up because you are kind of going a little bit more subtle, a little bit more slow. You're not really doing anything crazy with the whammy bar, but it's, you're giving it just enough 
So if you do something wrong, you're really going to hear it. It's really going to stand out. Um, so that one kind of takes more practice than what you might think. However, I think it's worth the payoff because you throw that technique like in the middle of your guitar solo and in like a special part there, uh, and then you pull back from that technique, that technique's going to stand out in that guitar solo. And whoever's listening to it is going to be like, whoa, man, that part was cool. I don't really know what Jason or Tom or Eddie or whoever is playing. I don't really know what they were doing there, but it just sounded cool. It's like, man, you know, it just kind of punches you in the soul. So I encourage you, above all the other whammy bar techniques out there, is practice those really subtle techniques. You know, if you had to go back to that part in the video, that technique, practice more. All right, guys, so I'm about to share another music clip with you. I think it's just kind of cool. And in the music clip, I'm gonna show you uh, even more how I use the whammy bar just in certain parts of the guitar solo, you know, kind of like what we talked about through this lesson. So I'm gonna share that with you. But first, I just want you guys to know I'm really not a huge fan of the whammy bar. Like, if you took this away from me, it won't come out, there we go. If you said, Jason, you cannot have this anymore. No, but I would be like, okay, well, I'm really, I'm really fine with that. I don't need it. And you guys might be saying, well, Jason, dude, why do you go through the hassle of, you know, having guitars with a Floyd Rose or with a floating, you know, tremolo and, and all that good stuff? Why do you even have that? Uh, and the answer is because when I do use the whammy, I want to know it's there. And of course, I know I want to know that my guitar is going to stay in tune. Now, again, I don't do a whole lot of crazy stuff with a whammy bar. I don't really do any dive bombs or any super duper uh, tricks or whatever you call it. I'm not against those. I'm not saying you shouldn't do them. I think they sound cool. It's just I'm personally just not a huge fan of it for whatever reason. Um, you know, I love playing my riffs and my licks and stuff like that. And I'm kind of, uh, you might feel like this at times too, I'm kind of a minimalist, right? Uh, less is more sometimes, more than often, unless it's beer or food. Then more is more. Or just metal in general. More metal is better. But when it comes to all these fancy little things, you know, I like to kind of just throw them in there from time to time, and then I'll just yank them right back out. Because what I feel like that does when you don't like overuse something, I really feel like that captivates the listener. And as a musician, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to captivate the listener. You want to give them a reason to listen to your stuff. If you're playing, like if you're doing the whammy bar stuff and that's just all you're doing, it might sound cool and it probably looks even cooler, but but as the listener's like, ah, uh, okay, I kind of heard enough of that after like 10, 20 seconds. Um, can we move on, please? You know, guys, it's the same thing with these sweep arpeggios that, that's, that's all people play up and down the neck. It sounds cool, it looks even cooler, and it takes immense talent to play a lot of this stuff. It's great, not saying don't use it. What I'm saying is it gets old if that's all you're doing. So use the whammy bar sparingly, or don't. I'm showing you how to use it kind of sparingly so that you can bring it in at those right moments. You know, when you've got that fluid guitar solo going, you might be doing a sweep arpeggio. Uh, and then you might pull off just one really cool lick where you hang on a note and you just bring in that whammy bar and the listener's like, whoa, that was cool, man. And then you back off of that and you might go back into an arpeggio or you might go into tapping or speed picking, whatever else that you're doing. But again, the point is to really captivate those people listening to your guitar solo, solo so they're like, I am rocked like a hurricane. Bad scorpion's pun. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been talking long enough. Here is the clip I promised you. Check this out. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for your support. If you have questions, leave those in the comments. 
Uh, if you don't have questions, leave me a cool comment anyway. And until the next video, as always, keep it metal. Thank you.